allow this part from first attack. And this video has proved CRM 1.4.5, uh, the inverse of the 2x2 two two matrix. This CRM gave us uh, the condition when 2x2 uh, two two matrix is invertible and what is the invertible in the case. Okay, see, let me highlight. So, if and only if, okay, the invertible and the, this is the condition, you know, later we define as the determinant, right? So, A times D minus B times C does not equal zero. It's equivalent to uh, the two by two matrix invertible. The inverse is here. Um, you can directly verify, okay, so, like this matrix, this is B matrix times A matrix equals identity I. If that's the case, and then uh, this should be the inverse of A by the definition, right? Okay. Uh, but why the equivalent condition is this one? We have to prove. Let me give a simple proof. Uh, let me say A matrix is invertible. Okay. This should be equivalent to, uh, by the definition, okay, we can solve, which means uh, A matrix times B matrix is equal to zero, right? Okay. We say, uh, because A is A, B, C, D, let me set up which is A, B, C, D, this matrix is A matrix, times another matrix. Mm. Uh, let me get X1, X2, X3, and X4 equals identity. Okay, this is 4 by 4 identity. And see, that is the definition. Uh, means what? <clears throat> and this is the inverse, okay? And then a matrix is times another matrix is equals i. Or you switch the order, commuted. But we do have a result before uh, later. Okay, so we don't need to switch. So this should be consistent. Okay, this is a system should be consistent. This is a linear system. Okay, this is a linear system. Uh, let me see. The linear system should be consistent. How many unknown? One, two, three, four. How many equations you can set up? A one, two, three, four equation. Okay, definitely. By the matrix multiplication. Um, we don't need to exactly uh, write of all the four equations. I just write. Okay, these are two equations, and these are two equations. I can break it down. Okay, so these are like. A, Block matrix multiplication. So let's see. This means uh, A, B, C, D, okay, times uh, X1, X3 should be equals uh, the column of I, which is uh, 1, 0, right? Okay. And uh, the secondary equi uh, system, which is this, also A, B, C, D times x2, x4 should be equal to the second column. Second column, which is a 0, 1. Remember this. Okay. And this is just a 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So here should be the second column, which is 0, 1. And it is both okay. consistent. Both system consistent. Uh, we only need to look at it the first we check it because the coefficient are exactly the same. So we have uh, the same way to solve the two system. Let's solve this. So let's solve this system. Okay. Solve the first. It's just uh, equivalent to you. The first system, okay, let me give a name. So we solve uh, one. Uh, this is a one. And the two is similar as one, okay? So I just leave for you. So
So the first system, which one, uh, is this system. So A x one, right? B x three equals one. C x one plus D x three equals zero. Okay, so that's the system one. And this should be consistent. And the two also, okay, so this is a two. Uh, I just uh, say, I just uh, ignore the two because two should be similar as one. Let's just look at this uh, one. Mm, I give a, I give a number of the equation. Uh, so let me give this, uh, I, I, I change a little. Uh, I give this is uh, equation one. Okay, this is uh, equation two. Okay, we do this, and I uh, eliminate x one. Is that okay? So I eliminate x one. A Gaussian elimination. Okay, whatever. I eliminate x one. I can do this. The first equation times c. C one times c, and then the second equation times a. Okay, therefore minus. Uh, the second equation times a. I do this operation, and then what do we get? The first times c, which is b c, and the equation we solved. So b times c, right? X three, and then minus a times d. A times d. X three equals one times c minus zero, which is c. Okay, I get this equation. Is a super important. You see. Okay. From this equation, I definitely say, and the, the coefficient of x three should be uh, not zero. Okay. So why? So look at it. Uh, imagine uh, this should be consistent, right? So if c is a, a normality c is zero or not a zero. Hmm. Let's think about it. Okay, so if C is zero, uh, uh, if this is zero, okay, you just uh, think about it. And if uh, B C times minus A D is zero, uh, then C should be zero, right? But uh, in the matrix, C probably is not zero. This is one case. Okay, in that case, uh, no solution. It's inconsistent. Or the second case, even c equals zero. Okay, if the coefficient is zero, and then x three could be any any number, any real number. That's against our uh, a previous result. That uniqueness of the universe. Remember that. Okay. Just by this, okay. therefore, we can directly get the coefficient b c minus a t. Should be not a zero, okay? Uh, because the uniqueness of, uh, okay. Mm. Otherwise, if it is equal zero and then x three, e x three is uh, inconsistent. Then no x three find or you find the infinitely many solution. Otherwise, uh, is uh, inconsistent. See. Otherwise, it uh, inconsistent, okay, or there are infinitely many solution. Okay. Infinitely many solution, okay. So either for this one equation or for the whole equations. Imagine if this is a zero and then x three could be any number, and this is against okay, this is against our uniqueness. This is against the uniqueness of inverse. Okay, 
infinite meaning of God is against the uniqueness, inconsistent is against our uh, results. Okay, our conditions that is invertible, so is uh, uh, not invertible. You cannot find a solution. See, uh, so this is the proof already. This should be uh, not equal to zero or backwards. Okay, now I put another. See, I can go backwards. Imagine if this is not a zero. If this is not a zero, and then divided by this number, x three should be unique, right? If x three is unique, uh, and then x one, you solve it, should be also unique. If x one is unique, see, and the first equation, the first system is unique, we have a unique solution, and then use the same way, the second system also has a unique solution. If uh, you solve the solution, what do you get? You get exactly x1 is d over a d minus dc. x2 is negative b over. Okay, so I leave this for you. You can solve it by yourself. And uh, this is the proof. Okay, I will not solve for x1, 2, 3, and 4, but I'll verify. Let's verify. Uh, is this the matrix of the inverse? Let me highlight this matrix. Okay. This matrix, let me set up, is B. I verify A times B equals identity. Okay, it's the same way. So let's see. A times B. I just verify this. A times B equals I. Think about it. And then what is A? A is this. Is A, B, C, D. What's B? Okay. B is a 1 over. The denominator is A, D minus B, C. Okay. And then times. So here is a D and A. Here is a negative B and negative C. We do calculation. Okay. Of course, first I move this to the beginning because this is a constant. So what do we have? We have one over a d minus b c, and then a b c d times a d a negative b negative c. Okay, so by matrix is multiplication. I see what is the result here 1 over a d minus b c should be a matrix the first row times the first column see which is a uh, I just highlight it see the first times the first a d minus b c right okay so a d minus b c the second which is a, a negative a b right and then is uh, a a b negative a b plus a b that's what that's zero okay so this is zero just and then the third the third which is a c uh d right Minus uh, C D D C. This is also zero. You can see that's equal to zero. The last A B, which is a negative uh, A. Oh uh, no, sorry. C uh, B C negative B C. Okay, so negative B C plus A D. Okay, so can I look at it? So now uh, we only have the diagonal. The diagonal is exactly the same with the coefficient. Okay. And so this time is, uh, the first is 1, and this time is the second. Imagine the same, okay, also get a 1. So therefore, equals i 2 by 2, okay, uh, identity matrix. So that's the proof. Thank you.